what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? I started to make this video last night, but I decided against it because I was jet lagged from traveling. I needed to rest up. I wanted to make sure that I was fully energized. I wanted to make sure that my senses were sharp. After all, you deserve it. We got Singer Genuine, who has caused a firestorm of controversy for his refusal to kiss a transsexual person. Now, it started on a recent episode of Big Brother UK, where his housemate, India, asked him, would he date a transgender woman? Genuine was like, nope. And then India was like, well, you date me. And he was like, I wouldn't date a transgender woman. I date a woman. So at that point, India leans in to hug him, but then try to kiss him. And that's and, and genuine was kind of like thrown off with the hug thing, but when he tried to kiss him, he was like, oh no, whoa, 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 hell no, pump your brakes. This is when people start losing their minds. He's intolerant. He's transphobic. Start trying to drop salt on Genuine. Here's the interesting part. The same people who are cool with attacking Harvey Weinstein, Russell Simmons, Bill Cosby, on and on, and all those people that's been going down in 2000, all those people who met a horrible fate in 2017 over sexual allegations, sexual misconduct, forcing themselves on women, sometimes men. Doing things to women against their will. These are the same people who are now attacking Genuine. Now, why would they do that? Why would they attack all of these men who have been accused of sexual misconduct but defend a transsexual who tries to force himself on another man? And that man stands up for himself and says, hell no, nah, get the fuck away from me. I don't play that. Why? Why would they do that? The answer is very simple. They are trying to be put in a special category. Do as I say, not as I do. They want to have double standards. See, Anybody, it's like they're saying, if you don't find me attractive, if you don't sleep with me, or if you don't allow me to kiss you, you're transphobic. But only they can say stuff like that. Straight people can't say it. If you're heterosexual, you can't make these type of broad statements. It's amazing. Tolerance is no longer about tolerating. It's about participating. For example, if a transsexual woman tries to kiss a straight man and he rejects that transsexual woman, then the straight man is transphobic. And also homophobic, because it's the same thing. Now, it's like 
the things that women have put up with all of these years that people have complained about and stood up for or stood up against are the same things. Even the transsexual community, the trans community has fought against. They are now trying to use those same tactics against the heterosexual community. Remember how they used to talk? Oh, stop killing us. Stop beating us. Stop harassing us. Accept us. Now it's not, don't just accept us, uh, love us. Make love to us. Allow us to kiss you. Man, these people tripping. Newsflash. No matter how much surgery you get, you can only have X, Y chromosomes or X, X chromosomes. There is no in between. I don't care how you feel. There is no option. There is no other options. Doesn't matter what the doctors go in and do to you. At the end of the day, you are a male or a woman. All of this political correctness shit, man, y'all can go on with that. I ain't buying it. I never will. What makes you right and me wrong? I think, I, I think just the natural order of life, the natural order of how things work in the world makes me right along. My argument is done. I rest my case. Yours, on the other hand, you got to go through some type of philosophies and theories and analogies and all of that type of stuff. You got to do none of that. Man, woman. Simple. <laughs> News flash. No matter how much surgery you have, makeup you use, or how you feel inside, every cell in your body is either XX or XY chromosome. There are no exceptions to this rule. I'm all for equality. But this trans equality thing is going to be built on the backs of real women and ultimately destroy their individuality, femininity, and unique value that they bring to the human race. They have you believe that if you have a sexual preference that discriminates against transgender men or transgender women, you're transphobic. So if I tried to kiss a lesbian woman and she refused, is it cool to call her heterophobic? It wouldn't matter because my black ass would be locked up in jail for sexual assault. Salute the genuine for standing this ground. For anybody that's got a problem with it, stop being so reality phobic. Additionally, your mama should be embarrassed and your daddy should have pulled out. No more talk. What, what the haters talking about? Yeah.